Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hey guys, you guys gotta check out the movie Snowden, the Oliver Everywhere. Stone movie. Um, stars Golden Nevin. How is this so possible? Uh, Think of it as a Google fantastic search, actor. Of searching only what people make public, uh, the movie is about, um, if you don't know, Edward Snowden was you know, charged by the United States government by espionage, and he actually fled to Russia. And you know, still to this day, he's over there. But in this movie, it's the movie is based on his on what he did, you know, to get charged, you know, as espionage and treason, you know, because he, you know, decided to um, go against the government and release all this information on mass surveillance that the government was doing and probably is still doing. But um, he was a guy that exposed it all, you know, and um, I guess. Um, that's why he got charged for espionage and treason because you're not supposed to be doing stuff like that, you know. Going, you know, you're working for the government, but I guess he did it. But the unique, the unique part about it is that how he was able to do it in this film it explains how he was able to to walk out of there with that information out of the high, I mean, like super, super high security clearance and just to get in there is hard and just to get out. I mean, they they X-ray you your, everything just to make sure you don't have any microchips and all that or you know, a little stuff that you're gonna pull out of the computers and you know download onto a, a you know a little pin. So in the movie Snowden, um, Gordon Levitt, his character, I, he he must have studied for the part because he he speaks the way Edward speaks in real life. His demeanor, his personality, I give him an A plus on that because he actually fits the profile of a of a character in this film. Uh, you know, Edward. You know, Edward Snowden was trained by the U.S. government. You know, he was in the army first. You know, and progressed to become. You know, to join the CIA. And when the CIA saw that he had um, abilities on some of the questions that he answered, you know, they took a chance on him and you know sent him to train on cyber war. And he was super cool, super good with this. You know, doing all this. You know, cyber warfare. And supposedly in the in the film, the way they explain it is, um, he goes to work for this um, this agency, the CIA, that has a that's, that has a, a a program that circumvents the Fourth Amendment on spying on everybody. I mean, your phones, your social media, your chats, your phone calls, everything. I mean, they were spying on every single body, like literally everything, which is against the law because you have some privacy issues there, but. Um, he exposed that he, he he just felt that that wasn't right, and the way they the the government was you know doing all this was illegal. So he took a chance. He's like, this is not right. This is not what I signed up. This is what this is not what I signed up for. So he decides to expose the the government, and he gets some journalists involved, and they need evidence in order for them to pursue this because this is a big big I mean K uh, thing that they have to report. So they need to have soluble provable evidence and he does it and the way he does it i want you to check out the film because it's very unique how he did it how he snuck this information out of this facility it's amazing smart guy but if you like um government movies and you like um you know these kind of movies where that keep you on suspense and thinking about you know what's going to happen next how he's going to get away with it it's based off a true story again Again, phenomenal, phenomenal director, Oliver Stone. So you know those kind of films make you think. So if you like those kind of films, you're gonna love this one. So that's my opinion on this. Check it out. If you like what I'm saying, subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Thank you guys.